Hello, my lovely Geminis. Now, Spirit wants you to know that there's nothing for you to worry about. They want you to take this moment for you. They want you to take this moment to get to know yourself better. Um, Spirit says seclusion can be a gift to you if you know how to use your time wisely. And you are adapting to a lot of different changes that has happened to you. Um, I don't know why, but I was like, I hear like, I can't stand when people call me out my name. I hear just venting. You could just be venting to someone. You don't like when people call you out your name. You could have been in a physical altercation when it comes to someone that you love. I even hear record breaking. So if you if you are in isolation, I feel like spirit wants you to use this time for you just to get back in tune with your creative endeavors. If there's something creative that you do, um, it's time for you to map out your life. It's time for you to do things differently. It's, uh, spirit wants you to stop playing so small. Stop playing so, so small. And don't allow minor things like to get to you and distract you and throw you off your game because it looks like that happens to you. And don't allow people to throw you in the mix. I don't know if your name gets tossed around when it comes to like drama, you know. <laughs> I hope not. I hope ain't nobody putting you in no drama. Um, and I even hear bestie. You may have a best friend that you're going to spend a lot of time with and going out. I see you shopping and I hear clairvoyant. Some of you guys can be clairvoyant. Some of you guys can have a psychic gift. Um, yeah, I don't know why I hear like ganging up on you and it seems too good to be true. Is it like somebody, it's so sad. It seems like somebody that likes you, somebody that likes you, somebody that you could be, you could have been dealing with. It's like divine intervention um, and detours. And I hear like this had to happen. It's sad. Something is sad that it had to happen this way, but it did. So divine intervention and detours. It's just like, um, you could have attracted in someone that, that, plays a lot of head games, mind games, but none of the less, they shared a special place in their heart for you. And I hear ganging on you. It could have been a situation where this person could have been dealing with multiple people and they all started to come for you once they see how serious this person was starting to feel about you. Um, I hear somebody even asking them questions about you. So if you if you know to be true that you were in a third party, just know that whoever the third party was, they knew about you and they were asking the other person about you. And to be honest with you, it's like this person that you were dealing with would hold you close to their heart. So even if people were to ask about you, they wouldn't really give up that much information. It doesn't look like it. Um, but they did like the attention. Whoever you were with, they did like the attention, the back and forth and the women or women or men being like, all about them they liked the attention it felt their ego it made them feel like big all right but i hear the song by monica it's funny how the tables turn now it's you coming after me you didn't want to spend quality time you didn't think i would ever leave you got way too comfortable now you say you want me in your life you <laughs> You had to leave this situation. I hear soap opera. It was just too much drama. It was like a soap opera. You felt like the time that you put into this connection, that you, it, it was wasted. You felt like what I truly want from the situation, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed that I am going to get out what I want. So you 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 took a, a passive approach. I'm just going to sit back and whatever's meant to be will be. I'm, I'm tired of this situation. It could have been taking up too much of your time. It took... You, <laughs> I even see you, Gemini, for real, for real. Let me tell you how this situation could have messed up your life. I see you going from reading to reading to reading to reading. You could have been really obsessed or in tune with the situation and just listening to multiple different readings. And it could have just been to see like what's going on between the person I love and the third party. And the crazy thing is the third party felt the same exact way when it comes to you. So you... But I hear divine protection. Whatever whatever happened, it's like divine protection. If things had to um, 
come to an end, it was because it was divine, divine protection. And this, if you wanted to know, this person does got a soft spot for you. I don't know why, but some of them, they, they could have loved to baby you in a way. Like maybe you would go through a lot of things and I see you resting on like their chest. You would lay your head on their chest. There's a, there's a part, even though the situation was full of drama, it could have almost felt like a safety net to you whenever you got around them. For some of you, you could have felt like safer. You, you know what it is? You guys had your own thing. You guys had your own little thing. Whenever you guys would spend quality time together, you had your own little thing. It could have even been like pillow talk. You know, you both laying down or laying in the bed with each other and just speaking to each other about, about life or what you guys were going through. So it could have been a situation like that. Like you, but I hear many, see, like red flags. This person had so many red flags. They, they were, they were messy and they were like a dataholic. Um, when they started to notice that you found out, it made them very scared. They could have got distant on you when they, when they realized that you were starting to find out, you were calling them out. You were calling them out on specific things that they didn't understand how you knew. But once again, if you, if you are clairvoyant yourself, or if you do listen to readings, this is how you would know the backstory about them. You got information on them. So if you ever wondered, like if they started to pull away, it's because they got scared. You started to call them out on too many things that they didn't understand. Like, see what I'm saying? You're in separation with this person. You're in separation because there's too many red flags and they could have ran once once a divine masculine. They could have ran once they noticed that you were starting to like um, find out about them. You were finding out about things. Yeah. And it was like control. They could have been trying to control you. And not only that, control the way you see them. Control what you knew about them. This could have been a person who, like, they pick and choose what they want to tell you. But they got so much more going on behind the scenes than what they tell you. All right. I hear they catch, they caught feelings for you. They they uh, fell harder for you than you than you think. And and on the outside, they may appear as, like, easygoing and and like calm cool but deep down inside they have so much i don't know why too i hear resentment if you stop dealing with them they could have also they can also be holding in resentment some of you 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 grew tired of the situation you were starting to get it to get weary you didn't feel like you can hold on any longer you know so let me just let you know that this person has a, a telepathic communicate they have a telepathy with you you know me i hear like dreams they can show up in your dreams or songs there's a lot of songs that you're going to be hearing there's a lot of songs that you're going to be hearing and this person is just recalling times that they've been with you that they spent with you this person holds you near and dear to their heart but i don't i don't think that um i don't think that let me find out what they're going to do because right now it shows separation i don't think they're communicating with you right now but they are daydreaming about you and it's sad they didn't it's like whatever little thing you guys had going on, it could have been a fling, a ting. They miss you. It's like they needed you. Especially, I don't, I don't know. This is just for some of you. I feel like they could have been in like a real relationship. And whether, like, you were their soft spot. You were their go-to. It's like they could be in a really hard connection. For some of you, 10 years. They could have been with somebody for 10 years. But they're, the relationship that they're in is hard. And it feels like whoever is with them, this third party could be like threatening to bring them to court. If they have children with somebody, they can be with the person just for the children. Every time they feel like um, their person is getting away, they start to threaten them with child support. Or if you have children with them, you could be threatening them with child support. But I see it being the, the reverse. All right. It's like you have proof. You found out about them. They, they could have been lying. Let me see. Yeah. You guys both felt so drawn to each other. You know, they wondered to themselves if you are their soulmate, if you if you believe in twin flame, but they wondered to themselves, are you their twin flame? They keep thinking about you in their head. They keep like they can't stop thinking about you. And 
there was something about your energy that gave them a sense of peace. And I hear honest. You're very honest. And you like to turn up. You like to have a good time. It's like you, they came to you for happiness, which is, I'm not going to go there. They came to you for happiness. They came to you. It's like you, you were an escape. You were a thrill to them. And this is why they kept coming back to you. I feel like they had a situation already. This is what it looks like. How do they see you now? I don't know, Gemini. Why do I feel like this might not be over yet? They're going to try to find a way. And if I'm doing this right now, this is what they're doing. They're going to try to find a way to see you. Even if it's like there's a certain place that you love, they may try to show up at that place in hopes that they'll bump into you. It's like however was left off, this person is not trying to let it go that easy. Some of you, you could feel mad. You feel used. How do they see you? See? The lovers. Some of them could have felt like, well, you got you had other things going on too. Maybe they, <laughs> Maybe you both had a third party, you know? Maybe you guys had a connection like that where you had somebody and they had somebody. Or one person was in a relationship and the other person was seeing people. They feel like you have other lovers. And in a sense, they at times they wondered if you were playing mind games with them as well. But they're waiting for you. Yeah. Aww. See, they see you as like being happy, being single, enjoying your life. I hear taking pictures. If some of you guys have pictures that you're putting up on your Instagram or your TikTok, they see you as putting um, up pictures. I hear finally getting the closure that you want. Some of them, they feel like you are done and you finally received the closure and you're ready just to move on and quit them. But I don't think they're going to. I don't think they feel comfortable just letting it end and be the way that it is right now. For some reason, there's just something that feels very unfinished. And if it's not, if it's not the situation, it just could be that's how it left them. It made them feel like unresolved, like, nah, like this can't just be the end of it. You know, it's almost like since you left their life, it's like they're craving that excitement. They're, they're craving that rush that you, that you gave them and they don't have that right now. So maybe it's like, is it just a break? Are they going to come back around? It's like they're still in their head when it comes to you. So if you feel their energy at times, it's because they're still like trying to figure this out for themselves. Yeah. And it shows like nothing, nothing is set in stone right now. They want you to hold the vision. And I don't, I don't know what this has to do. I don't know if it has to do with your dreams. I don't know. What does this have to do with spirit? Yeah. No, 10 of pentacles. For stability, for, for a foundation, spirit wants you to hold your vision and nothing is set in stone yet. So it feels like you're still trying to figure out what do you really want to do? Some of you can feel like you, you quit your day job or you're on the verge of quitting your day job. You're trying to figure out how can I become more stable? And I hear like mentally free. You want to be mentally free from all this confusion. It's like you want to feel free again. You want to feel whole and complete. You want your secure foundation it's like there's a lot of worries on you that you are still in your head contemplating but this person is thinking about you heavy and it's almost like if they do have someone else they always try to find excuses to leave the house they're always looking for excuses to leave the house it's like their soul is searching for yours they still feel like they have unfinished business what else would work for gemini I hear living a double life. This person did live a double life. That's probably what you found out, that they were living a double life. You finally see the whole entire picture. You finally see the whole entire truth when it comes to this person. But if you wanted to know if they truly did love you, they did. They actually did. They actually still do love you. Um... Some of you, it's like a situation that could have been stalemated for a while. So you were just going to put it to an end and focus on yourself, focus on your spirituality. 
Uh, some of you guys have a, a brand new beginning when it comes to someone new. You have a new offer coming in with love. This this is cute. You have a water sign. For some of you, possibly two people, but this could be the same person. You you can have um a water sign. Maybe someone that has a, a child that's coming towards you. All right. I'm I'm going to continue on to the extended. I'm gonna find out about this new person that's coming towards you, right? And then I'm gonna find out what's gonna happen with them, your old person, all right? I send you so much love and light.